We prepare for these supervisions through initially providing the workers a chance to reflectively look on their practice through a series of questions that they complete before the supervision. Uh, that's then sent to myself or the team leader before uh, the supervision so we can review these responses and work out some key conversation points. I usually look back on what I had written prior um, in the practice support meetings. Um, as well as tasks that they've done recently that I have been there to witness or things that they've told me that I can reflect on with them. It's important to look back and see exactly what they have achieved and what they've been doing so that I can bring that up in that meeting and you know po positively praise them and then look back on things that you know could have been done a bit differently and, and bring those up as an opportunity to offer learning and development whether or not they need assistance um, and what they think they could have done better during that time as well. So the main things we talk about during those uh, supervisions are active supports and how that looks like for the person and how they're using active support in their daily role with the clients to help them engage in their own lives. I focus a lot on what people are doing well and use their strengths and a strengths-based approach towards developing their skills as workers. It is a really good opportunity for staff to really sit down and take the time to tell me about the things that they are really struggling with um, and that gives me an opportunity to identify where staff might need some more training and helps us to identify um, where we could be providing um, better supports for our clients. The questions I, I ask, I try and make open and reflective. Um, I think when staff reflect on their, on their own practices, um, it gives them the opportunity to be able to see where they might be able to improve. I ask questions and I become inquisitive and I find out, um, you know, how they think they're doing and how they think they're going. Um, and I use that information to uh, give them the feedback that I have and to tell them what I've observed of their practices. I think when staff um, you know, feel that they're going into, into a meeting, I think sometimes staff can naturally shut down and they, they don't open up um, as much as what you would like. So I think if you keep it casual and also if you keep it positive, you want it to be something that staff uh, look forward to when they don't dread. 